Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God gave me a special word for you for next month, the month of August. It's about money. Are you a money magnet or a money chaser? Are you aware that money is everywhere? Are you aware that money is much more than notes and coins? Are you aware that money has a special language? It's called money language. Next month, by the grace of God, I'll be coming with special, specific words from God to enlighten you on money and how to make money by grace according to God's word. Look out for next month's word in Jesus' name. I love you and God bless you. God, hallelujah. Welcome to the sphere of grace. This is Pastor Shegun Obaji. Today God sent me to tell you to prioritize love. Prioritize love. Now why is it important to put love first? It is important to put love first because love is first. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 7, it says, Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God. He that loveth not God, and he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. See, God is love, and he is Alpha and Omega. So prioritizing love is the right thing to do. Put love first. That means in all that you do, let love be your priority. Let love be your drive. Let it be your motivation. Let love be the reason back of what you do. Because that is the only way to do things in an enduring manner. If you want what you do to endure forever, then do it by love and do it in love. The Bible tells us that love never fails. Love never comes to an end. So whatever you do in love and by love never fails. And that's why it's important to prioritize love. Jesus, our dear Lord and Master, speaking in John chapter 13, started reading from verse 34. He said, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another even as I have loved you. He says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love one towards another. It's God's will for you to walk in love. The Master gave a commandment because it is a priority. A commandment is not a suggestion. A commandment is a priority, is an order, is a charge. And this charge is in our interest, is for our good. Because in the domain of love, we are protected. In the domain of love, we are shielded from evil. The Bible says, beloved, keep yourself in the love of God. And that's how to be kept indeed. Whatever you do in love and for love will abide forever and is shielded from corruption. Because, you see, love is the only virtue that purifies our motives and our thoughts. Paul praying for the church at Philippi. In Philippians chapter 1, we started reading from verse 9. It says, This I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all discerning, that you may be able to approve the things that are excellent, and that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. You see, in love, there's no offense. There's no stumbling in love. You can't fall in love. Amen. <laughs> you know, some people say they fall in love. All right. But you see, in Christ, you, you can't fall in the love of God. <laughs> the love of God stands you up. You are erect in the love of God. You stand in the love. You don't fall in love. Praise God. Because love itself, you know, is God and God is love. People may fall in lust. All right? But nobody truly falls in love because God is love. Amen. Praise God. So prioritize love, beloved. God wants you to put love first. Be motivated by the love of God. Don't do things for greed. Don't do things for personal, you know, glorification. Don't do things for vain glory. Do things for the love of God. Paul the Apostle said the love of God constrains us. Let the love of God constrain you. And give you a lifestyle 
that will always edify men and glorify God. See, knowledge is good. But you see, knowledge without love puffs, puffs up. You will swell. All right? But you see, the Bible tells us that love edifies. If you really want to help people, you have to help them in love. Do things for love. And you will be acting in line with God's plan to have an eternal impact. That's the kind of impact God wants you to have. An eternal impact beyond time as you act in love. Glory to God. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. Mm-hmm.